Okay, so there's a new holster company that I have just recently learned about called Gray Matter Concepts. Um, from what I know, they have some experience with Tier 1 Concealed and broke off at some point, and they're now making holsters. So when I saw this on Instagram, I decided to take the bet and see how the holsters were because from experience that they had in the past, I thought to myself, wow, this may be a really good opportunity to get a Tier 1 Concealed quality level holster for no lead time because they had just launched. So that's where not really a review, but me sharing a little bit about this holster comes into play. I am going to set a timer for one month. I am going to use this holster and I'll show it again. I'm going to use this holster for my Glock 34 um, appendix carry. <laughs> it's a big gun. Yes, I know but I can conceal a Glock 34 pretty easily and I have for months and months on end in the past. So, new holster, it's really cool is it's got this Tegris material here as the pivot. I know T-Rex Arms has their hinge, I know uh, Tier 1 Concealed has their type of bungee cord system. This is actually pretty cool and so I'm gonna see if it lends to more comfortability or if it, I don't know, we'll see how it goes in a month. Um, it's going to be kind of a chore <laughs> with the Glock 34 for a whole month, but I, I know I can do it. So I will see you guys in one month. It's been a month and a half after I recorded that beginning portion of the video. And that is because I wanted more time with the holster. I, it was really hot at the end of summer and I didn't exactly, uh, wear pants with a belt, an easy way to appendix carry for that time of the, the end of the summer. So I have more time with it now, now that I've been wearing pants more often, <laughs> and I have my little report. Like I said, this is not a review, this is just a user experience of one of the first people to have one of these holsters. Let's talk about it, and I actually did bring both my Tier 1 Concealed Glock 34 appendix rig and the Gray Matter Concepts appendix rig so I can talk about the differences between them because obviously they're they're similar but there are the differences that are pretty big. So uh, the first and foremost one and I'll go through the kind of my small list of cons real quick and it probably just ended up being a cons with both holsters that I have is that maybe just because I'm a tiny bit fatter, I need the, or I like to have the, the wedges that Tier 1 Concealed or some other companies put out on the back bottom of the holster. Because even with this one, I still feel like I need that wedge to help conceal better and make it more comfortable. So that's one thing that I'm going to try. I, I, I heard Filster, it came out with their little wedges. I know Black Arch Holsters has a couple wedges that they have come out with alongside Tier 1 Concealed. So I will probably try out to see which one of these wedges will work the best, but that's one thing I have to do to the holster uh, just to make it more comfortable for day to day. Um, my second little con, and it's not really that big of a con because I can modify it, but this right here, the wing, the claw, um, I've, I think I'm going to bend it forwards a bit uh, right now the way it is is a little flat but that being said I will just bend this forward so I don't think it's really going to be that big of an issue um, and that's again probably personal preference and that's just because everybody's body is different and so the holster is going to fit probably a little bit different with everybody but I, I don't know, I'm happy to just like report from my own experience that it's a good holster. It works like any other holster that I have tried and I've tried plenty of appendix rigs. It is on par with Tier 1 Concealed. It's on par with, you know, QVO, many of the other bigger brand holsters out there. Uh, the hardware used is identical. The Kydex, the way it's been formed is exactly what you need. The retention is great and the adjustability for your spare magazine or whatever else you choose to put in there is great as well. I like 
this right here, the, the Tigris, the Tigris, um, essentially just another way to have that flexibility here. It is more flexible than say something like this, or maybe the T-Rex arms hinge one is probably very similar to how flexible it is. But other than that, they work about the same and I'm happy with it because of the price. Again, it was somewhere around $100 for the gray matter concepts holster. And it came with the discrete carry clips, which is, I think just a big win. If you're going to get a holster that's on par with all the other big brand holsters and comes with the discrete carry clips, that is just something that I found to be a great value. So that's my user experience so far, a month and a half in of having the new holster compared to an older holster that I've had for over, I mean, maybe like a year and a half or two years. Um, glad that it works the same as what I consider to be like the standard. So if you've made it this far in the video, <laughs> quick tip um, with holsters that maybe people don't talk about as often. Well, a quick two tips. One, if you're appendix carrying a pistol in a rig like this, uh, be sure to put your shoes on in the morning before you put your holster on. Uh, I learned, you know, it, it's just, it's not a big deal. It's just everybody learns it their own way, but it's hard to uh, bend in half as a human being when you have an appendix rig right where your hinge point is on the body. So I'd say put your shoes on first, then put your holster on. It makes it uh, a lot better when you're trying to get out quickly in the morning. Um, another thing that I'd like to point out about appendix rigs, and that is when you have to go to the bathroom in public, not like in front of people, but using public bathrooms, let's say at a restaurant or at an event center, um, it's not easy to just pull down the zipper and, and find your way out <laughs> using an appendix rig. So there's a couple things you can do. You can either lift your pants up, your waistline up with the holster and then try to get high enough where the zipper is loose. You can get out and you can get your business done. Um, other than that, the only like really other way is by literally taking the whole holster off and like hiding it in your jacket while you're peeing. This is while you're standing, by the way, this is not while you're like, not if you're sitting and going to the bathroom, but if you're standing, I've had a couple occasions where I didn't really have the right pants to be able to do that, where I could lift it up high enough. So I had to take my whole holster off. I had to put it like, I had to like balance it on top of the, the urinal and go to the bathroom while making sure nobody knew that I had a gun on me. So it's just this little things that you learn and um, yeah, I just recommend that you carry a gun on you whenever you possibly can. So that is the gist of this video. Thanks for watching. Um, I liked having to be able to do this kind of video where I started out with a product test in prior months and then finish it up at this time. Granted, this is just a first impressions of the Gray Matter Concepts holster as it's meant to be something to be used daily for a really, really long time. And so maybe I'll give an update, but you know, when it comes to something reliable, it's boring. And so I don't know how exciting a follow-up with this holster will be unless something crazy happens, whether like a, a failure or like I actually had to use it in self-defense and it worked perfectly. So I don't know, unless something interesting happens with it, I don't know if I'm gonna be <laughs> make another video on it, but it's awesome. I like it. And I will see you guys in the next video.